In this video, we're going to talk about reflux. By the end of this video, you should be able to explain the basic principles of reflux as a chemistry laboratory technique, apply reflux to perform a chemical reaction. We know that chemical reactions are faster at higher temperatures, so we can heat a reaction to help speed it up, but molecules evaporate at temperatures above their boiling points. So then, how can we speed up a reaction without losing anything from the reaction mixture? This is when we use reflux. Reflux involves heating a reaction at a specific temperature for a specific amount of time without evaporating the reaction mixture. A reflux setup is shown here, which consists of a condenser attached to the reaction mixture flask, usually a round bottom flask. The condenser has cold water flowing through it. The mixture is usually heated to the boiling point of the solvent. The vapors travel up the condenser, get cooled down because of the water, turn into liquid and return to the flask as condensate. Sometimes when cooking, you're actually doing a reflux. When boiling food, we sometimes put a lid on the pot. This helps the liquid to condensate back to the pot, preventing the loss of liquid and burning the food. It is important to remember that reflux starts when the reaction mixture is vigorously boiling and when you clearly see bubbles in the mixture. This is when you should start timing your reflux. You should also see droplets roughly one third of the way up the condenser. This is called a reflux ring. Here are a few tips for a successful reflux. 1. Make sure to use a stir bar or boiling stones to prevent bumping of the solution and making sure there is even heating. 2. The joints of your setup must be tight with no leaks. Some vapors are flammable and if they escape they can cause explosion. 3. Make sure the reaction mixture is actually boiling vigorously. 4. Reflux starts when the solution is actively refluxing at the bottom third of the condenser. The heat should be turned down if the reflux ring climbs to halfway up the condenser or higher, or else vapors could escape the flask. Let's do a quick review. Reflux is a laboratory technique to help speed up the reaction by heating the reaction for a specific amount of time without losing the solvent. This is done by using a condenser to cool down the vapors which then condense back to the reaction mixture. Thank you for listening.